Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Natasha and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, we are unboxing and flipping through the runes for modern life, ancient divination cards for today's dilemmas. This is by Teresa Chung and it's illustrated by Camilla Perkins. So hopefully I'm pronouncing all those names correctly. It's published by Lawrence King and it retails for $16.99. The back says, reconnect with your intuition. Runes are ancient divination tools that remain potent symbols for personal transformation. Use these cards to find deeper meaning in your life and awaken your insight. So I did take a peek at the guidebook already and these are to help you figure out um, the runes. So these runes are the symbols here that are gonna be used to, you know, with the divination. I actually do have my own set of runes here and um, I am hoping to learn in a different way because sometimes it's harder uh, to learn a new tool <laughs> without proper instruction. So um, I'm not an expert in this yet, but I hope to be and that was one of the reasons for purchasing this. So um, there was an excerpt in here. The packaging is really nice. It's like really sturdy. And the cards are set in this little pocket here. So not bad. Packaging is like to the point here. All right, before we get into those, I just want to read you a passage that I found. Um, da -da 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 -da, where was it? Okay, each of the 24 symbols of the rune alphabet corresponds to specific tales and teachings from ancient Norse wisdom, but these symbols also transcend their origin. For modern rune casters, they offer universal psychological and spiritual insights that can draw attention to a person's hidden fears and challenges and their potential. This deck showcases these timeless insights rather than their Nordic foundation. Each rune illustration and interpretation is inspired by the Futhark, ugh, I cannot for the life of me pronounce that correctly, Futhark uh, alphabet, <laughs> but is rooted firmly in the present day. So it's modernized, which it says modern life. Um, so we'll see how that works. Um, there are some spreads here which are very nice to see. And then it goes into bind runes and this wheel here that gives you some keywords for the symbols, which is fantastic. And then it goes into the cards and this book is fully colored too, which is fantastic. Again, $16.99. Here's the back. It's really pretty on the back with all the runes. And then here's the cards. So very, very vivid. I'm really liking this. And the imagery looks pretty straightforward here. They're exercising, climbing up a hill. Okay, so here is the rune symbol with its name, no borders. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the card stock is thick. That is a very, very thick card. Really cool, okay. So the quality is there. I mean, you don't get a lot of cards because, you know, it's runes and there aren't 78 runes. So having that nice card stock really makes up for that. I really love all of the beautiful colors and the way that the images are just popping. Wow. Very straightforward. If you are a visual learner like myself, well, I'm visual and tactile. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, I love this. Beautiful plants, kitty cat. I'm curious to see how this reads in the book. So that'll be um, the next step after we shuffle. There's a couple birds outside my window right now, chirping it up. Love it. 
There's another little baby. Oh, <laughs> right next to lobster. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so pretty. I really like the art style. Really like that. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh. Okay, and that's the last one. All right, so let's shuffle these. Oh, very, very stiff, very thick. I don't want to even make a bridge. <laughs> okay, does one want to be red? All right, that one does. They shuffle just fine. I feel like, you know, however you shuffle, it's going to be just fine. Um, I'm a chaotic shuffler, so I shuffle like this all the time. Um, but, I mean, it's not bad. It's still manipulable. Manip manipulable? <laughs> you can still manipulate the cards to shuffle, so there's not a problem. It is a really thick card stock, which is kind of interesting to see. Um, so really nice quality. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of impressed for $16.99. Okay, so this is Jera, and I'm assuming it's going to give us the pronunciation in the book. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just passed it. All right. Yes, it does. Okay. Pronunciation. Jar a. Okay. Jar a. Meaning year or harvest. These are strong seasonal association. Or excuse me. Wow. Can you read, Natasha? <laughs> there are strong seasonal associations with this card. This is the rune of the good harvest or the culmination of a year or a cycle of planting and growing that results in fruitful crops. In other words, this card suggests that there have that there have been many tough obstacles for you to overcome, but you are about to feel the peace that comes with when success is hard earned and justified. Your hard work, patience, and discipline may soon be rewarded. Enjoy these rewards when you receive them, but don't relax too much. There is a forward momentum with this card and you are advised to plan ahead. The seasons of the year have a relentless quality and you need to prepare for the inevitability of another winter when resources may be scarce again. Above all, this card reminds you that life is cyclical and that during the good times, you should build up your strength, learn lessons from any hardships, overcome and prepare for the future, whatever it may bring. Very cool. Okay, so I do have, since I do have these runes, I bought them off of Amazon. So <laughs> they have this rune symbol book here. And so I wanted to compare. Um, oh, and look at that. Flip right through to Jira. So this says, so we can compare and contrast what the information says. Um, a year or a good harvest. The results of earlier efforts are realized. A time of peace and happiness, fruitful season. It can break through stagnancy, hopes and expectations of peace and prosperity. The promises of the success earned. Life cycles, cyclical pattern of the universe. Everything changes and in its own time. Jara Merk Stav. Jara cannot be reversed, but may lie in opposition. Sudden setback reversals. A major change, repetition, bad timing, and poverty. Okay, so that's what if it was like reversed. So they are very much the same. Awesome. Okay, so that's what I wanted to know is if um, 
there would be some similarities between the two? Would they be completely different because of how I'm learning? Maybe you're learning in the same way. So my thoughts here, very interesting. Okay. Oh, and I said the tattoo tarot reminded me of tattoo tarot and that's also published by them. Okay. So, um, my thoughts on this I really like it for $16.99. I feel like you're getting quality. I feel like the information is correct now. I feel like you do get enough information to sit here and learn each card. The art is really pretty. I really like the vibrancy. I like that they're very straightforward images to where if you compare and with the information in the book, you start to get it. We learned that we're talking about harvest peaceful cyclical motion here this makes sense to me so i'm excited to start using these and learning a little bit more and the fact that it's a really thick cardstock is very interesting um i feel like this is something that is a really good gift if somebody's interested in learning runes and kind of not sure where to go this might be or where to start i should say this might be a good thing for them to use so it, anyway my point being i'm rambling is that i'm excited about this i am interested to know if you guys are excited about this what are your thoughts um and again i know that there's been some uh negative rune symbolry um in the the news lately and um that is not related to this that is something completely um that was taken over and turned into something grotesque and um absolutely not what this is about so if you see the the runes that are um kind of that um, if this looks familiar this is the original rune. The one that you have been seeing in the news is a, um, we'll say a bastardized rune. So um, please, if you are wanting to know more information about that, look it up for yourself because I do not want that negativity on this channel. Um, so yes, so if you are curious about runes and their origins, please, 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 please um, do correct research and make sure you are um, looking at uh, authentic, authenticated sources because um, we do not on any circumstances associate this with that awful hatred. So just so you know where I stand, that, that, that's exactly where I stand. Like that is not to be here um, anywhere near me. So anyway, I'm excited about this deck. I'm excited to start learning, trying this way out because maybe I'll retain it a little bit better. Let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you'll never miss an upload from me. All right, everyone, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.